Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing some video of uh, 700 Remington rifle stock that we restored in our shop here. It needed uh, quite a bit of work, as you can see from the pictures. Hope you enjoy the video. We start out sanding the old finish off with 80 grit paper. Uh, getting through that can be kind of tough, so we get right after it. Uh, it's important to make sure that you sand in the direction of the grain can be difficult when you're going through the grip area but it'll save a lot of time later on in removing heavier grit sanding scratches. It's also important to stay away from the checkering. Later on we'll show you how to touch that up. stock has a plastic and rubber butt pad it's important to sand that along with the wood so you can keep the contours to match the stock and that you don't have a butt pad that stands out larger than the rest of the, the wood when you're done. I prefer hand sanding over chemical stripping in these instances just because that chemical stripping can get into the fibers of the wood and it can cause you um, some peeling down the road if that isn't completely removed from the stock. It takes a little longer but I'd rather not have that problem down the road. The last thing we're going to do before we apply finish to this gun is to put masking tape over the checkering and carefully cut around the checkering pattern so that we have nice clean edges. For the first coat of finish, I use a 50% dilution. This is a marine grade spar urethane. Um, I found it to be quite durable for standard hunting rifles. At this point, we have about five coats of finish on the stock. Each one we sanded in between coats with 320 grit to knock the high spots off or any dirt that may have got into the finish. Once this sanding is done, we'll clean it all off with some denatured alcohol, put one more coat on it, and then wet sand the finish.
Once the wet sanding is complete, we'll use a 3F rubbing compound offered by Brownells with a thousand grit backing paper on a flexible backer to bring it up to a matte finish. With the stock rubbing complete, now it's time to address our checker on this rifle. We're going to remove the masking tape and clean the checkering to remove all residue. With the masking tape removed and the checkering cleaned up with denatured alcohol and a brush, now it's time to recut the borders of our checkering. With the checkering border recut, a light coat of tongue oil is applied to the entirety of the checkering. There we have it, a beautifully refinished Remington 700 stock. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.